Welcome to another vlog. So today is Saturday and I am headed off to a cross country meet and um, it is 7.20 a.m. right now and like the place that we're going to is um, an hour and 51 minutes away or something like that. It's like really, really far. Um, but yeah, and so basically for those who don't know what cross country is, it's pretty much just like track and field, um, but it's just like 2k races, 5k races, and things like that, so, like, more distances, and it's not as fast as, um, track and field, and, yeah, so, I'm actually kind of excited to go, um, not the fact that I have to be sitting on the lawn, like, doing nothing for two hours, because that's gonna be really boring, <laughs> um, but, yeah, and, as you guys can see, this is, like, the uniform that I have to wear, um, so this is just, like, you know, my school's uh, logo and everything like that. It has a hawk because that's our school's, uh, what's it called, like, mascot. Um, so, yeah. And what I'm going to do is stop filming right now. Oh, and also, uh, later today, I will be making an Oreo ice cream cake, which is actually really, really good. I made it before, um, and I just decided to make it today because, like, you know, I'm coming back from a cross-country meet, so I kind of want something, like, um, kind of like ice cream, but I didn't really want ice cream, so I decided to make this, um, and yeah, so that will be happening later today, so I will see you guys then, because I have to go ahead and leave, because I do not want to be late there, <laughs> so I will see you guys later. and I just came back from the track meet and it was actually really really fun um I didn't film anything there because you know everyone was just like in the tent and we were doing our own thing sort of and it was kind of awkward if you know I just pulled out my camera and started filming so um I decided not to do that because my phone is still broken so I kind of really use my phone to record on anything um but yeah so definitely once my phone is fixed it'll definitely be more vlogs when I go to like the track meets and stuff like that um and yeah so I actually ran a two and a half mile race and I came in third to last because I walked half of the way but you know what whatever <laughs> um because mostly everybody like you know walked towards the end part that's what I did and then like when I was getting past the finish line, like, I just sprinted that way, because I wasn't really that tired, it was just so damn hot outside, it was, like, 90 degrees, and it was, like, 9 in the morning, too, it was, like, ridiculous, but, um, yeah, and I also went to Wendy's, and I got, um, a freshly berry lemonade or something like that, um, I think that's what it's called, I almost finished it, but... I never really got the berry one before, but it's actually really good, because usually I just get the regular lemonade, but, um, I actually really like the berry one, so, 
Also, later today, what I'm going to be doing is going to Home Goods because um, when we went to Wendy's, my mom stopped at Home Goods and we bought something, but we're going to return it because we don't like it. Um, but and then after that, we're going to Publix so we can buy the stuff for the Oreo ice cream cake. Um, so yeah, I'll definitely film that and that's going to be in today's vlog. Hey guys, so as I promised, I am making a Oreo ice cream cake. And I have all the ingredients right here. So the first ingredients that I have is the ice cream, of course. I hope you guys can see it well. Um, and it's at room temperature. All I did was like heat it up in the microwave for 10 seconds. And I have two boxes of these because um, I'm not sure how much I'm going to need because like I'm using something different than what, you know, like the recipe itself says because I'm using like this pan and... In the recipe, um, it says to use like a round bowl, but I'm just going to be using this to, you know, have the cake in and everything like that. So I might need a little bit more ice cream. I'm not too sure about that. So the other ingredient that you need is this syrup right here. Um, I bought this at Target. I, I, yeah, I think Target, yeah. <laughs> um, and it's just, you know, syrup. <laughs> so, yeah. And this right here is some... Um, what is it? It's chocolate syrup, so it's like Hershey chocolate and stuff. And then, right here, of course, we have the Oreo cookies. Now, I got these, you know, like at Target as well, and they are a pretty good size. This is like the size that you'll need. Um, and then I also have like the ice cream scooper and everything that I'm going to be using for the ice cream. So, first thing I'm going to have to do is we're going to switch this up. So, I'm going to move everything over and I hope that you guys can see this because that would be a complete failure if um, you know you guys can't see what's being done so I'm just gonna try and move everything uh, here we go okay let me put this right here that's good and literally like this actually tastes pretty good surprisingly so what I'm gonna do is as you guys can see right here I have this pan um, let me actually make sure that you guys can see that. Yeah, perfect. Okay, good. So you guys will be able to see this. Um, so this pan I'm going to do is put like Oreos all along the line here. And then I'm going to open up the Oreos and put them underneath. So that can be like the crust and everything. Um, so it just gives it, you know, more of like a taste. And let me open this up. Alrighty, there we go. So I'm just going to line these up. It's kind of hard to do, but, you know, once you get the hang of it, it kind of gets a little bit easier. And when they fall, it's really annoying, but, you know, whatever. <laughs> Alrighty. Alright, so now that that is done, what I'm going to be doing is doing the bottom of the cake. So as you guys can see this oil, I'm just going to open it up and then put it down on the bottom of the pan like so. And it doesn't need to be perfect because it really, it's the bottom of the cake, so it doesn't really matter too much. Um, but yeah, because it is kind of hard to, you know, peel open the oils perfectly, but it kind of gets easy once you can get the hang of this. And already, let's hope that I have enough oils because we are going to need some more for later. Um, I, I said later, so we're there. Uh, but yeah, so we are going to need some more like later. And I hope that we have enough. So I'm not going to do so much, um, but I think this should be good. Alrighty, we're almost done here. And I sped up the beginning part because I was just putting it up. In you know, I was just aligning the Oreos on the side, so I kind of decided to speed that part up because you know it would make it a lot easier. Alrighty, here we go. Alright, so that's the bottom of the cake, and now let's get to the rest of the cake. Alright, so I moved the Oreos to the side because we're not going to need them right now, so what we're going to do is put this ice cream in this bowl and as you guys can see, it can easily come out. Alright, let's get that in there. Oh my god. 
Oh, I mean, I get this ice cream scooper because, you know, that's what it's for. <laughs> uh, here we go. Okay. This is like such a mess, but you know what? It's definitely worth it at the end. Um, here we go. Okay. Perfect. So I'm just going to put this in here for now because I really don't care. Um, oh my god, that's going to fall. Okay. <laughs> here we go. That's good. And my hands are so messy right now, but that's all fine. So right now I'm just going to kind of mix this in a little bit so it's like more mushy and everything and it's definitely needed to do this because we're gonna add some ingredients to that so this is what it looks like right now without anything else in it um but what we're gonna do is actually put this syrup in here and we're not gonna put too much and we're also gonna put in the chocolate and then we're gonna mix it together now what i'm gonna do is go wash my hands real quick because my hands are awful right now, and I can't really open this without my hands being clean, because then that's going to get all, all messy. So I will be right back. Alright, so I am back, and let's get this thing open. I need to get this thing out, because we just bought this thing, like, today, and it still has that annoying little cap that you have to try and get off. If you can get this damn thing off, that would be lovely. Okay, how do I... There we go. That's off. Good. Ooh, and it's kind of like... It looks kind of weird, but... To be honest, I really don't like caramel, but in this... You know, in um, in this recipe, it actually tastes pretty good, so... I really don't mind it, so... I don't know why I closed the cap right there. Alrighty, let's get this in. And I'm not going to put too much, because again, I really don't like caramel so well let me just put one in more there we go that's good so this is how much it's supposed to be and let's open up oh, this one is gonna be tricky let me get my scissors alrighty here we go i got the scissors and <laughs> let's cut up some stuff oh wait if this is gonna help at all oh my god no, that's not helping. Yeah, there we go. Cool. Got it off. And I think this is fine without any cap. Let's see. No. Okay, so there is something in there that we need to get out. And, oh, I got ice cream on me. Lovely. Oh, lady. Because I do have, like, another box of ice cream because I wasn't sure how much I was going to need. Okay. Well, that wasn't a complete fail at all. I just got that all over my hand. Oh, that's awful. Oh, wait, I need to wash my hands real quick. So I will be right back. Alrighty, so let's put this in here. And this is like really messy. So that's fine how it is. Like so, that's perfect. And I got more, I, um, what's it called? Chocolate on me. <laughs> So I'm just gonna get a paper towel real quick. And we are not done with this part just yet. So, ooh, wait, this ice cream is melting, but <laughs> whatever. Um, so as you guys can see, we have everything in here mixed together, but this is not done yet. So what we're gonna do is get a bag like this and we are gonna put some oils in here. Now, this is a fun part, actually. <laughs> Alright, um, let's get this out. And let's open up these Oreos. Now we're going to put them in there. And, okay, that's a mess. Lovely. <laughs> Alright, here we go. And that's in there. And I'm just going to put, like, the rest of these cookies in here. I'm going to leave a couple because I really want to eat some. Um, how much more? Let's see. Two more should be good. So you're gonna have like a bag like this with the Oreo cookies in there. And then you're gonna get something that you can whack this with. <laughs> so basically, let me find something that I could use. You know what, whatever this is, I just found it in the drawer, so I'm gonna use it. So just whack like that. Alright, so this is what it looks like after. 
after you, you know, did the whacking, and all of it should be kind of just come to that big part. That's a big part. So it should kind of look... Hmm, I think I'm going to need to do it a little bit more. Yeah, I'm going to do it a little bit more because it's not perfect just yet. Alright, well that's fine, um, I kind of broke the back here, so I'm holding it like that. But this is what it looks like. Now what we're going to do is get the ice cream, and we are going to pour this oil, these Oreos in here, and that's going to go on top of the cake. So it's going to turn out really, really good this way already. Let's carefully pour it in here. Because I have a dog, and if you guys know, dogs cannot eat chocolate, so I'm trying to be careful as possible. So my dog does not eat <laughs> this chocolate. Um, so yeah, let me just throw this out. Alright. And now what I'm going to do is mix all of this together. Now this looks actually <laughs> really, really good. Just wait until like you do this yourself. It's actually surprisingly like... I, when I first made this, I thought it would turn out not so great, but, you know, it turned out <laughs> really, really well. Um, so, yeah, let's, we're almost done here with this part, which is good, because this doesn't really take too long, um, but the tricky part's coming because we need to pour this into, you know, the pan with the Oreos and everything, so we need to just carefully do that. And I think this is good, because you don't really want any chunkiness in this, um... But another ingredient that you can put in here is, like, walnuts with syrup. Um, but I didn't do that because I really don't like walnuts, so I didn't really do that. And last time I made this, I didn't put that in there either, so I decided to skip that ingredient. And it actually doesn't miss anything, so... The cake is fine without that, so that's good. Alrighty, here we go. This should be perfect. Okay. Here we go. So this is what it should look like after you mix all the ingredients together. And it made it, like, really well. It, like, smoothed it in pretty good. I'm going to give it one more stir like that. So that should be good. And I'm going to move this all over a little bit. Um, alrighty, how am I going to do this? Here we go. Okay. So I'm just going to put this, like, over here for now. Because we don't need that anymore. So that's good. Now let me carefully bring over this box of Oreos. Now, that's perfect. And what we're going to do is... Here, let me make sure you guys can see that. So, we're going to pour this in here. Alrighty. Okay. Well, <laughs> that's a big clunk. Oh my god, okay. This is actually really easy. Like, it's not that hard, but then you have to, like, smooth it out and everything. So that kind of gets a little bit tricky. Now, for me, one thing I hate about cooking is the fact that you have to clean everything up after afterwards. Because that's so much effort to do. But you know what? Whatever. <laughs> Alrighty, so let me finish this up. I think that's good. Yeah, okay. Perfection. Now I'm just gonna lay this out a tad bit here. And as you guys can see, the oils are kind of getting mixed up, but that's okay. And it's kind of smooth. It doesn't have to be perfectly smooth. Um, but it should be like, you know, laid out and everything like that. So, this is good. Alrighty. Okay, this is getting there. And we're done. So, this is what it looks like. Um, it actually looks really, really good. Now, one thing I'm going to do is with the extra Oreos that I have, I'm going to beat them again and sprinkle them on the top because it kind of gives it a nice taste and a different type of texture to it. And once you're done with that, you need to put this in the refrigerator for six hours. 
And right now it's like five o'clock, so five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So at eleven p.m. this will be done. <laughs> um, so I'm guessing tomorrow afternoon when I get home from school, I'll check up on this and you know film that that last bit of it to show you guys what it looks like and everything like that. So what I'm gonna do is stop filming here because I'm gonna layer the rest of this cake and with the extra Oreos that I have. And then I'm gonna put this in the freezer for six hours and tomorrow I'm gonna taste it and hopefully it looks good. So this is what it looks like and I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. Um, once I'm done with all this, you guys will get to see what it looks like when it's finished. So I'll see you guys then.